Acne vulgaris is a chronic inflammatory skin condition impacting an estimated 80% of adolescents. However, it also persists into adulthood for many, influencing self-esteem and overall quality of life. Welcome to a short exploration of acne, one of the most common skin conditions worldwide. In the next few minutes, we'll examine its causes, triggers, and evidence-based ways to manage it. To understand acne, we begin with the skin's structure. Sebaceous glands attached to hair follicles produce sebum, a natural oil. When sebum production and keratinocyte shedding become unbalanced, pores can clog, leading to acne lesions. Acne arises from four key factors, overproduction of sebum, excessive keratinocyte buildup clogging follicles, bacterial proliferation, notably Cutobacterium acnes, and subsequent inflammation. Each interacts to produce comedones, papules, and other lesions. Hormonal fluctuations, common in puberty or menstrual cycles, often drive excess sebum production, fueling acne. Genetics also plays a role. While certain cosmetics or lifestyle factors can exacerbate outbreaks, diet-related triggers remain debated, though high glycemic foods are under ongoing study. Acne lesions vary in form. Whiteheads, closed comedones, blackheads, open comedones, papules, pustules, and deeper nodules or cysts. Severity ranges from mild comedonal acne to severe nodulocystic presentations requiring specialized care. Mild acne often responds to topical agents like benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid. More persistent cases may require prescription retinoids, topical or oral antibiotics, or in severe instances, isotretinoin. Hormonal therapy can help in certain female patients, guided by professional evaluation. For severe recalcitrant acne, oral isotretinoin can be transformative, achieving prolonged remission in many. However, it demands close supervision due to potential side effects and strict measures to prevent pregnancy, reflecting its teratogenic nature. Evidence linking high glycemic diets and dairy to acne remains debated. While some studies report improvements with low GI diets, consistent clinical trials are needed. Emerging data on probiotics and the gut-skin axis also suggest potential complementary strategies, though more large-scale research is warranted. Acne not only impacts the skin, but can erode self-confidence, sometimes fueling social withdrawal or depression. Early and comprehensive management, including psychological support, can significantly improve quality of life. Advances in light or laser therapies combined with emerging topical agents expand the arsenal for resistant acne. Research is ongoing for biologics targeting inflammation, hinting at personalized care in the future. Ultimately, acne is a complex interplay of hormones, bacteria, genetics, and lifestyle. Effective management often requires a multi-pronged approach, addressing both skin health and emotional well-being. Consult dermatologists for personalized regimens. Simple changes can yield transformative results.